Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Oxygen Not Included, the agricultural update. This is the Acropolis. We are comfortable at 10 duplicates on cycle 55, and we have a big dig project in progress to create the infrastructure we need to make good use of this really, really scalding hot liquid water. We're going to dig all this out, we're going to make a cooling system. It's going to be really neat. I'm going to try and set up a little thing so I can let in a small amount of water at once or you know at a time so we can cool it down more effectively we'll see how that works but we're having i mean we're having some trouble getting oxygen down into the lower reaches of the base i mean we have a ridiculous amount of oxygen up here so i think what we should do is we should put a pump over here and then pump some of this o2 into our current o2 piping system and then we can also extend this pipe all the way down and get some oxygen down here i think that'll be pretty decent so i'm going to queue that up while the duplicants are sleeping, you know, they've gone they've gone to bed and they're going to wake up with a new set of work to do every day. There's more and more work, it never ends. We need our gas pump. I'm not sure where I would like to put it. I guess I'll put it right here because all the O2 keeps pulling up in this area. And we'll need a gas pipe bridge. We can put it right... Oh, you know, we could put it uh, right here, I guess. Our gas pipe. Whoa, incorrect. There we go. And then we'll send this gas pipe like so. So we haven't, we have not experienced any short circuits yet because of overcharged electrical networks, but I think we might in the future. Mmm, look at all this delicious food. The good crops. And you are squelched. Too bad for you. Okay, we've finished our new gas pump, and it is pumping away. We're sending the O2 into our base. Let's watch it go. You know, it's probably going to pull in some of this hydrogen. We're going to have to maybe fix that. Maybe we'll need to move the pump lower. We can just turn off the pump, though, if it becomes a problem. And yes, we're sending delicious packs of oxygen to the bowels of the base. To the base bowels. We got our guys doing their digging. They're going to break into that pocket. That should be good. And okay. We got too much hydrogen. Let's send somebody up here to expand the size of this entire upper cavern. Oh! We have tons of algae. Yeah, let's get that algae. Like, uh, because I don't want to burn up all this hydrogen, because we're going to need it for our hydrogen cooling system. I guess we can always just wait for more hydrogen to make, to get created. So, you know what? Let's just hook this hydrogen. Well, I'm not going to do that right now, because that's not the focus of what we're trying to accomplish today. But we may need to, we may, our hand may be forced. Yeah, we're going to need, yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? We definitely need to make a gas pump up here. We've gone through all this trouble of pooling up all this hydrogen... We should definitely make a gas pump so we can pump it into our hydrogen system. Let's get our gas pump available. There you are. And gas pipes. So we'll make the gas pipes out of granite. We have plenty of granite. And boom, just like that. It's hooked up into the system. Into the system. All right, so that's going to be a big job. A lot of work to do there. But it should work out pretty good. Yeah, I think this pump was probably... Probably put this pump in a bad spot. Yeah, look at all that. This is terrible. Why do I... This is completely useless to me. But, I mean, we are circulating O2 around a bit more effectively. Well, let's get a dupe in here to dis disable this pump for a while. Alright, our blossom farm is doing pretty good. I mean, we started off with three blossom plants, and so far we've gotten... One, two, three, four excellent crops. So we have four surplus seeds which have been planted here in these four planters, as you can see. So very good. So I'm not sure what we're doing right exactly. I mean, all I did is I just put these ceiling lamps up here, and they've slowly increased the temperature by about 20 degrees Celsius. And I guess that's enough, even though we're not in the ideal range yet. We're still getting excellent crops, you know. But we, we are irrigating them, and we are fertilizing them. So maybe that that's enough. Okay, okay, look at all this hydrogen. So much power. More power than we could possibly spend. 
Hopefully we have the excess we need. Like, do we have the batteries that we need? Oh my god. It's gonna get backed up. We're gonna have like a hydrogen backup. I hope. You're telling me we got insufficient oxygen generation? We got a freaking... Don't we have algae? We just harvested loads of algae. Okay, this is giving us 800 watts of power, you know what? Be quiet about the food shortage. I believe it's time we selected a new duplicant. We have one free bed. Let's choose a duplicant. Who do we want? Nisbet, a professional miner. I like the sound of that. We need... We need more miners around here because of all the digging we're going to do. So what are we going to name Nisbet? Well, since Nisbet is a stress response of destructive, I'm going to call her Destructo. Destructor. Sure, why not? And she can also destruct the terrain in our quest of digging, in our dig quest. Man, so we're getting a ton of slime. You know what? We should make some storage compactors for storing slime. I just happen to have a space right here for that. Slime storage. We will need slime storage. Alright, so we're not even at maximum battery capacity. I'm hoping we won't get to maximum battery capacity because that means we're utilizing all the power that we're bringing in. Well, okay, I'm just gonna continue digging out this region and I'll check in in a little bit. And we're going to do even more digging! Ha ha ha! We're gonna dig out everything here. Everything that we can. Let's get some more ladders going. This is all in priority six, by the way. So they're jumping to it. Oops. Incorrect ladder placement. You guys are not gonna be able to get out unless you build some ladders. This is nice having a team of duplicates that are available at your beck and call, able to do whatever they need to do. All right, now they're building the ladders. Now imagine if all my duplicates got stuck down here because I didn't make any ladders. That'd be a hell of a thing. And you two are stuck. We'll get to you though. I think you'll be rescued. Do I need to prioritize these ladders a bit higher? I think so. Then, the, then they should get to them. Or you'll just leave them behind. Ah, Ruby comes to the rescue! Yep, yeah, you're sleeping there. Hope you like camping. Alright, so we got some more digging to do. So what we're going to have is we're going to have, like, a bunch of pipes snaking around here that's going to act as our cooling system. I guess we, there's no reason we can't construct those pipes right now. So let us... What we're going to need is we're going to need, like, a double... A double bit of tiles. I'm not sure how big we should make this. I guess, uh... How about we make it this big? We'll need to deconstruct these ladders, of course, but that's no big deal. Then we'll go up like so. Deconstruct those. And then we're going to need to snake some gas pipes in around here which is where we will pump the super-cooled hydrogen through the gas pipes. And we'll probably- and we'll have like a cooling system over here somewhere. So let's see, we need to snake our pipes all around. I guess, uh, I'm not sure the best way to do this. Let's have our input pipe over here. And we'll go down like this. And go all the way around. I know there's like, depending on how you wrap your coils around, that sort of affects the efficiency of the system. I'm not, I'm not sure what is best, but we'll just do this because it probably doesn't really matter in the end. Also, it's very important that we make our pipes out of the correct material. I think, like, we can't make our pipes out of copper, so there really isn't a... Like, copper would probably be the best material if we could use it. But we cannot. So we'll just use granite, how about? Yes, granite had granite has a specific heat of 0.79 and a thermal conductivity of 3.39. If we compare that to sandstone, it has a higher slight 
specific heat, but less thermal conductivity. So I think, yeah, we probably want to use granite over uh, sandstone. So we'll get that all going. And let's see, we'll need to also put in some tile here as well. Watch them go! All right, Neep's a real hero, sacrificing his life to build the bottom of our water tank. Well, eh. Well, we're not gonna let him die down there. We're gonna rescue him. Don't worry about it. Meep. Meep ain't sacrificing nothing. Not today. Let's get that ladder going. In fact, Meep might be able to save himself, because he is a champion. I hope Meep, I hope you like camping. All right, another thing, I almost forgot, we need to put a water pump in here. So we're going to make our pump out of gold almagan because that is very, very, it, it can withstand heat quite a bit. So we, yeah, we can just put it in any old spot. And of course, these liquid pipes won't interfere with, uh, we should use insulated liquid pipes. These liquid pipes won't interfere. There we go. Of course, our ultimate goal is to cool down the water, so we probably won't even need insulated pipes to begin with, if we cool down enough. Alright, so, this whole system is basically complete now, and now we need to work on the inputs now. I went through my whole explanation for the system, but I forgot that I, I did not turn recording on, so I was like, ah! But I am here to explain now what I've done. So we've created two rooms here. One is the pump room, and one is the cooling room. We're going to pump in a ton of hydrogen into this chamber, and then we're going to use this gas pump to pump the hydrogen through these thermoregulators to make the hydrogen really, really, really cold without freezing it. And then we're going to pump it into this massive loop system to cool down the water, and then it's going to come back in here. Now, in here, we have a number of thermo switches, and based on the temperature, if things get too cold, we'll turn off the thermoregulators to not only prevent the hydrogen from freezing, or liquefying, I should say, but also to save on power, because we are environmentally friendly in this asteroid. And, uh, I, I just hooked up the... I hooked up two thermal regulators to one switch, and another to a third, or a second. I mean, you could use three switches, but whatever, I didn't feel like doing that. And then I gave one switch to the pump as well. So we're gonna finish constructing all this, then we're going to use this pump, we're gonna pump everything out of the room, turn it into a vacuum, then we're gonna pump in the hydrogen. And it'll be good. It'll be real good. So let us let the duplicates work for a little while, and then we'll check in in a couple of minutes. Okay, we are ready to fire up this system, so the first thing we need to do is we need to pump all of the gas out of this room. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh... First we're going to deconstruct a section of this gas pipe, because what we actually need to do is we're going to need to basically break this gas pipe circuit. We're instead going to take the gas and we're going to pump it... Where is it? Just take this gas pipe, we'll just... I guess we'll throw it up here, we'll put a vent, and then we'll just turn on this pump to pump everything out. Oh, we also need to hook up the power lines, don't we? Are the power lines not hooked up? Oh right, because we need to... Uh, flip the switch, essentially, the thermo switch. Currently inactive. So get that going, guys. Build that. Now, I've been... I've been busy. We, I sort of had to abandon this project for a little while because we had to go on a fertilizer digging expedition because we ran out of fertilizer. I probably should make a fertilizer maker, but we found bits of fertilizer around here. That's where all these, these chunks of holes have come from. And there is more fertilizer around, too. But for now, we have 384 kilograms of fertilizer. We should be good. Okay, let us turn this on. So hopefully we're going to pump this, we're gonna completely empty this room, turn it into a vacuum. Oh, now that's a nice how do you do. I thought I'd be able to pump through these systems even if, um, even if they weren't activated. I guess we better activate them. No power, you say. I believe we have power. Oh my god, it's not hooked up. 
Those bastards. Okay. Well, with that in mind, we need to unlock the door. And build a power line. Those duplicates. They think this is some kind of practical joke? Is that what they think? Oh my god, Mima fell asleep just as she was about to construct the wire. Oh, Destructor is here to construct the wire. Okay, I, I came up with a better solution. We can just pump the gas down here, I think. And maybe now we can disable those thermal regulators. So hopefully they won't turn on. But the pump still won't go. Alright, I guess we need to deconstruct this bit of gas piping as well. We can just rebuild it later. It's no big deal. Okay, there we go. And let us lock the door. I guess we're gonna get a hatch locked in there, but that's fine. So we're gonna turn this into a vacuum. Then when the room is fully empty, we will... Of course, I mean, it's, it's taking the long way through the pipe system, but no big deal. Once this room is a vacuum, we'll fill it in with hydrogen. And then we can start the process of cooling the hydrogen through the thermal regulators. Though we need to get all this gas out of here. We can just... I'm gonna deconstruct these gas pipes. To get rid of that gas. That's the way to do it. We could pump it out, but we don't got time for that. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to turn this room into a vacuum. We'll be pumping all through the night. Yeah, we're already down to almost zero grams of pressure in some parts of this room. Polluted oxygen, slightly toxic. Only slightly. Hopefully we'll be able to just pump it all out into here without overpressurizing the area. Yeah, those look safe. Okay, well, let's... We're in cu currently at cycle 67. We'll see how long... Oh, yeah, this has become overpressurized. We'll need to dig some of this out. That's no big deal. Any... We'll get some good materials in here. Good, good. All the duplicates. Get into it. It's very important that we turn this into a vacuum. I wonder how the hatch is going to do in a vacuum. And you know what? Let's build an actual real ladder for a change. And let's sweep this up. How's the food? Let's do a quick food tour. How about... I keep getting messages saying we're getting... Oh! Oh man, how are these doing? They'll be ready in 4.5 cycles and we can make all kinds of... Frost cakes. Which will be very delicious. And our blossom seed farm is doing quite nicely. Our bristle blossom farm. And see, this is why we're storing up all this hydrogen, so we can pump it down here into this system. It's starting to look like a vacuum, that much is for certain. Okay, let's get one of our gas pipes ready. So we're gonna take this gas pipe, the hydrogen gas pipe, put it into here, and hook that up there. Or no, we don't want to hook it up yet, though. But we do want to make sure we deconstruct that gas pipe right there. And we should also deconstruct that vent. Because we don't want to vent the hydrogen into our base. So then when we make the final hookup here, all the hydrogen will just... Some will go to the generator, the rest will go into this room, and that'll be good. Well, apparently we can't deconstruct it because we can't reach it. Is that what they're telling me? Yeah, that must be it. But we can build uh, some ladders, how about? Oh man, this is... this is disgusting. We're gonna put some air filters down here. Air deodorizers. This is so easy. And they make the air nice and breathable. Of course, we're only at 4% stress level, so I guess we don't really need to worry about it. Oh, we're in microgram territory now. My god. Alright, looking at this little number up here, on this top corner, I can see that the micrograms are slowly decreasing. I, I, I reckon when this reaches zero, that will mean the entire room has reached a zero. But yeah, just pumping away. Oh! 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 There is no gas, apparently. There's a few micrograms of polluted oxygen in here, though. I hope that's not an issue. I hope that's not going to be an issue. Oh yeah, this is all vacuum. 
all vacuum. Okay, this is a, this is getting exciting. We're gonna bring in. We're gonna bring in the hydrogen now. Bring in the hydrogen to the max. We're gonna bring in the maximum hydrogen. We'll deconstruct this bit here, that bit of gas pipe, and then we can hook it up. We can hook this gas pipe in right there. Oh, the first bit of oat of hydrogen is coming in. Excellent. It's gonna take a while, but hey, we're gonna start pumping in this hydrogen up here. So that'll be fine. That'll be just fine. And to make sure we don't get any oxygen into our system, let's build a gas a gas filter. Where where is my gas filter? There it is. So we have intake and output. Okay, this will be good. You're now pumping. And we, we will activate... So we're going to activate this one... Let's just say if you are above zero degrees, four degrees Celsius, you will activate. Same thing with this one here. So they should all activate now. Oh, where the hell is this? Damn it. Where is that polluted oxygen coming from? I hope that's not going to be an issue. So let's see, this polluted oxygen is at 14 degrees already. It's coming in at 27.5 and it's coming out at 19.9.2. Okay, we need to deconstruct this here. We need to get that polluted O2 out. And then we'll put in some... We gotta hurry this up. I wanna get that O2 on its way through. We might lose some hydrogen, but I, I think that's okay. In fact, let's make this priority 9. This is why they invented priority 9. Okay, there it goes. And then we'll deconstruct that pipe as soon as the, the polluted O2 comes out. Okay, great. It's all gone out. Now we should deconstruct that. Before we lose too much hydrogen. Perfect. And then we can get the, the loop set back up. Oh man, this is hot. And things are working perfectly. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of power generation, especially if we start doing biodistillation. So the last thing I'm going to do here today is hook up this gas filter here. Let's get our gas pipe input. Then we'll get our gas pipe output. Right, yeah, that's that's correct. And then I guess we'll take We'll build a gas pipe bridge over here. Intake, outtake. And put that into our oxygen network. Or something like that. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we need, of course, everything needs power. You gotta hook up to the power grid. Okay, so we're going to say that this gas pipe... So what are we doing here? We are... Can I not select it? What's the issue here? Okay, we're going to, we're going to filter out... Oxygen is what we're gonna filter out. Oh no, 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 we did this wrong. Because we want to filter out hydrogen because we might encounter different types of gases other than hydrogen, like polluted oxygen. I'm just gonna fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, we got our pump, we got our filter set up. We can turn this pump back on and we should see some serious crap happening after that. Of course, we're going to encounter mostly only hydrogen but that's okay. Eventually we'll hit the the O2 and then that'll get into the base and that'll be great. All right, let's let's watch this hydrogen do its thing. There it goes. So uh, some of the hydrogen is going to go into our generator, which is good because we desperately need more power. And then a bunch of it will work its way down into the system until eventually we get maximum pressure. And that'll be pretty great. So how is our temperature doing here? We have hydrogen here at 26.3 degrees and then hydrogen here at 26.3 
Or no, that's the pipe temperature. What is the hydrogen temperature? Oh, 0 0.02 degrees Celsius. And then the packets up here are at 26, so they're warming up as they go through. But as we increase the mass of the hydrogen in the system, it should improve things quite a bit. This should be very, very interesting. And they're just making their way through the pipe nice and orderly. Yeah, we're gonna get a ton more hydrogen in here. We desperately need a lot of hydrogen. And well, that is all for today. We can already see that there's some major cooling on going on down here. Thank you so much for watching. That thumbs up, and hopefully next time we'll actually get into our geyser and cool down some water. Have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.